For the second set of notes in section 12.6, you are going to work through the following example problems on your own. We already derived the fact that the volume of a hemisphere is 2 thirds pi r cubed, so we can write that there and move on. Please pause the video, work through the sample problems, and then once you're ready to compare your answers with mine, you can hit play. For number one, you should have recognized the fact that we were given a sphere with diameter of 24, which means our radius is 12. Since we want to find the volume, we're doing the 4 thirds pi r cubed formula. I'm going to cube the radius first to get 1,728, then multiply it by 4 since they're both in the numerator, and then divide that number by 3 to get 2,304 pi units squared for the final answer. For number 2, since this is a hemisphere, we're doing 2 thirds pi 5 cubed. I'm going to cube the 5 first, which would leave us with 125, then multiply that by 2, which would be 250, and then divide it by 3. But since we can't divide it by 3 evenly, I'll leave it as an improper fraction of 250 thirds pi units cubed. For number 3, we want to find the radius of a sphere with a volume of 36 pi. So we're working backwards. So we know the volume of the sphere can be found by doing 4 thirds pi r cubed. We know our volume is 36 pi. So we're setting that equal to 4 thirds pi r cubed. What I do next is multiply that entire equation by 3 to reduce that fraction of 4 thirds. So we'll get 108 pi is equal to 4 pi r cubed. When we divide both sides of the equation by 4 pi, we're left with 27 is equal to r cubed. But then to get r by itself, we have to take the cubed root of both sides of the equation, which leaves us with a radius of 9. And then finally for number four, we want to find the volume of a hemisphere if we're given a lateral area to be 72 pi. So we have to think back to our surface area formulas. To find the lateral area of a hemisphere, we do 2 pi r squared. But we know that our lateral area is 72 pi, so we're setting it equal to 2 pi r squared. When we divide both sides of the equation by 2 pi, we're left with 36, and that's equal to r squared, so our radius is 6. Now that we know the radius of our hemisphere is 6, we could find the volume. Using the formula 2 thirds pi r cubed, since we're working with a hemisphere. We know that our radius is 6, so we're substituting in 6 for r. Don't forget you're cubing the 6 to get 216, then multiplying that by 2, and then dividing that number by 3, which leaves us with 144 pi units cubed for the final answer.